All right, guys, hello and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we're going to do a simple little quick tutorial on how you can import your footage into After Effects and how you can make a composition from that footage. So uh, there are different ways that you can actually import your footage. You can go up to file and then go out down to import. And then you have two options. You can import one file or multiple files, or you can simply press control and then I. So I'm going to click on this file here and then I'm going to go to my desktop and under footage right here, I'm going to drag all of these in. So I'm going to select them all and then import as footage right here. And then I'm going to select import. Notice that now all of these clips have been brought into After Effects. Now After Effects hasn't brought in the actual video into itself. It has actually just created a link to where the file is on your computer. So you need to make sure that you know where your clips are and that they don't get moved around or lost because if so, they will appear missing. So now let's click on this clip here, crosswalk. Notice that up here we see um, the name of it. We see its dimensions. It is 1920 by 1080. We see the frames per second. We see the length of the clip and we see the codec. Now, if we wanted to make this clip a uh, composition, how could we do this? Well, we could simply take our clip and drag it onto here or down here if we didn't have any other composition open, or we could simply drag it down to here and a new composition would be created. Or we can right click on the clip and we can select new comp from selection. This is what I'm going to do. Notice that a new composition has been made and up here we see it. Now what's very interesting is that the same dimensions of our video crosswalk here, 1920 by 1080 are the same dimensions of our composition and that the time and the frames per second are the same as well. So they are identical in this matter. So that's how you can import your footage into After Effects and how you can create compositions. All right, but what if we wanted to create just a completely new composition and not start with any footage? What could we do? Well, we could simply click on this here, create new composition, or we could go up to composition and then select new composition. Press it right here. Notice that this box pops up and we can give it a name to our composition. So I'll call it new, new comp. We have three columns, basic, where we have settings. We have advanced right here and things like motion blur to play with. We have 3D renderer, which is um, like how your project is going to render. And we have options like classic 3D and cinema 4D. And looking back at basic, so we have basic here and we have things like the presets. So you can select what preset you want. We have presets for television, presets for videos that you may want to put online. You have your width and then your height pixel aspect ratio i'm going to leave this to square pixels and then the frames per second um, resolution time code this is where the composition is going to start and then you have the duration like how long your comp is actually going to be so one thing i want to show you guys here is how this works so one here would be one frame 10 here would be 10 frames 100 is one second 1,000 is 10 seconds, and then 10,000 would be close to around one minute. So I'm going to put this to around 10 minutes, actually. So I'm going to add another zero, and then I'm going to leave it at that. And then for the background color, uh, you can change your color to whatever you want it to be. I'll set it to like this, uh, this white here, and then I'm going to press OK. Notice that now I have a new composition right here and it is 1920 by 1080 and if i want to make changes to this composition all i have to do is right click right here and then go to composition settings and then i can make the changes to whatever i want and then i'll press ok you can also change it by right clicking on this here and then going to composition settings all right so now i want to look at how you could actually um, create a composition with multiple footage so i have this footage up here and I'm just going to select it all. And so I'm going to start with crosswalk and then I'm going to press shift, go all the way down to berries, right click on it, and then press new comp from selection. Notice that this window pops up and we have different options. We can create a single composition that will take all of this footage and bring it into one composition, 
or we could do multiple compositions which would put each video and the image in its own single composition. We're going to stick with the single though and then we're going to go down to options. We have this use dimensions from. Now this here decides what the dimensions of your video is going to be. So if I select Seaside, the dimensions for this composition is going to be according to this Seaside video. And we have the still duration. This is because we had an image in here, the berries, and this is going to be how long the image is going to be in our composition. So we have it set at two seconds. Now we have sequence layers here. If we don't have this selected, After Effects is just going to stack everything on top of each other. But if we sequence them, After Effects will put each clip and the image one after the other, according to how we selected them up here. We can overlap them and give it a certain duration of how long we want the overlap to be. So I'll give it three seconds duration for an overlap. And we can also give it a transition as well. So we can have no transition or we could dissolve the front layer, which is the top layer, or we could even cross dissolve the front and back layers. So I'm going to select cross dissolve the front and back layers. Selected, then press OK. Notice what happens. Notice that a new composition was created and it was given the name according to the video that we selected to give the composition its dimensions. Now if we go down here, we have all of the videos that were brought in according to how we selected them up here in the beginning. And notice how they are sequenced like this. Yep, like that. And if we play it through, we can actually see the transition. So I'm just going to go towards the end here. Like that. Another one right here. Another one right here. And these transitions were set according to the duration time that we gave it. And lastly here we have our berries image. And the reason it's so small over here is because we set the image duration to be like two seconds, I believe, two or three seconds. Now another point that I wanna add is that the entire duration of your composition is going to be all of your clips put together minus the transition time that you set for each clip. So that's how you'll know the time of your composition. So go ahead and play with this and we will see you in the next one. Until next time.